What up, what up, what up, everybody? It's your main man, Shannon. Welcome to the Car Chronicles. Man that stands for nothing will fall for anything. One of the greatest leaders of our time, the great Malcolm X, said this. And it's no more apropos than today. What we see today is we see men that have been men standing for nothing. There's no, you know, there, there used to be a saying about it being honor among thieves. There's no honor. Even in the streets, there's no honor. It hurts my heart with some of the things that I see today. And, you know, not only is there no honor, there's no standard. I went to the grocery store yesterday, and I was complaining about this to my wife when I got home. And I see an older and younger lady, seemingly appeared to be mother and daughter. And it was interesting because as I came down the aisle to grab yogurt, I see these two ladies in a onesie, matching onesies and house shoes. Disgusting. Made me think, you left the house like this. You intentionally got dressed or didn't get dressed. Just got up, put on house slippers, came to the grocery store. And what broke my heart most, it was an older and a younger lady. Standing for nothing, including standing for standards. Standing for standards of how you present yourself. The message that you send to others that see you. Whew. Guys, we are, I feel like every day we're living in the twilight zone. If you had told me five years ago, some of the stuff that we see today would be commonplace. I would have said you were crazy. And as one that's raising a 13-year-old boy and a 9-year-old girl, you know, I oftentimes think, what will the world be like for them? The Bible talks about the world, not as the world that we see, but like the world system. And the world is the world. We see that clearly. Now, message to you today. Stand for something. <clears throat> Stand for something. Have some type of morals, some type of values, some standard in which you'll do and execute things. That's all I got today. I love you. God loves you. Keep living in victory.